Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about pagination. When we have a huge amount of records in a table and we want to show these records on a single page, it's not possible to load all records in one shot. It will take more time to load all records in the page. Okay, so in this case, uh, we use pagination. It will uh, split our records into pages. Okay. So let's see how uh, can we use pagination in Laravel. So for that, first of all, go to the database. So just type here localhost php my admin, localhost slash php my admin, and uh, here just click on database. Our database is Laravel 4db. So just click on it, and here you can see users table. So just open this table. And here in the users table, there are no any records. Okay. So first of all, insert thousands of records in this table. So inserting thousands of record, I am just going to use faker. So go to the project and inside this project, just click on database, then seeds, and just click on database seeder.php file and inside the run method just write here first of all use faker so just write here use faker slash factory edge faker okay and inside the run method so first of all comment this line and here just write here dollar faker is equal to faker colon colon create for each and just write here the range because we have to create thousands records so just inside the range method just pass here one comma one thousand okay as dollar index and inside the for each just write here db colon colon table table name table name is users so just write here inside the single quote users and call the insert method and inside the insert method just pass here name email and password so in single code name arrow sign dollar faker name okay then comma email fat arrow dollar faker arrow email and password here call the bcrypt method so just write here bcrypt inside the bcrypt just pass here a password let's say password is secret okay now use the db so just write here use illuminate support slash facades slash db Alright, now save the file. Uh, now execute this cheater. So, for that, just uh, go to the command prompt and inside the command prompt, just write here php artisan db colon seed. Alright, now press enter. It will take one to two minutes. All right, now database setting completed successfully. So uh, let's create a controller. So here, first of all, let's see the records inside the users table. So just refresh the data, uh, table users tables. You can see here thousands of records are inserted here okay so let's create controller 
so just write there php artisan make colon controller and let's say controller name is home controller all right now press enter controller created successfully so just to go to the controller uh, click on app folder then http controllers and uh, home controller okay inside the home controller uh, create here a function let's say public function function name all users okay and inside this just write here dollar users is equal to user colon colon as in it and right here in okay this is the side all right and just return a view let's say view is users and just pass here inside the array users arrow dollar users okay and also use here use app slash user not user use app slash user okay now let's create the view users so just go to the resources folder and inside the views folder just create a new view users dot blade dot php okay inside the, uh, this view uh, first of all add html5 boilerplate so just write here exclamation sign and press tab okay now change the title users okay and uh, here just add bootstrap cdn so go to the browser and just write here get bootstrap.com and just click on get started then just copy css and js and js file okay js cdn cdn so just copy this and uh, paste inside the tag and copy the js and just paste here before the closing body tag okay all right now here just create a section and inside the section just type here dot container press tab now row inside this just write your column md let's say 12 md dash okay and here just create a table so just write here table class table table dash strip okay inside this table just create t head and here pr th this is for id copy and paste to name and here name and email all right now t body er ed and
all right and just cut this and inside the for each just write here dot users edge dollar dollar users as dollar user okay and inside the for each paste this tr and here print the ID so just write here dollar user arrow ID and here print the name and email ID okay change with name and here email all right and below the table just write here the pagination so for pagination just write here dollar user arrow link okay this is the this is for pagination all right now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and uh, first of all create the route for this method okay so go to the web.php file inside the routes folder just create the route so here just write here route colon colon get let's say all users okay this is the uri then right here home controller at the rate method name which is all users okay now save the file and switch to the browser and just write here all users now press enter Okay, records are showing but uh, pagination not showing. Okay, let's check what is the problem. So go to the users.blade.php and here just write here users arrow links. Okay, not user users arrow link. Now save the file and refresh the page. All right. Pagination length of pagination links Okay, sorry sorry just Right here as a function. Okay now save the file and just refresh the page Okay, you can see here the pagination if I click on number two you can see here another 10 records If I change the page size, so go to the project inside the home controller. If I change here, let's say 20. Now save the file and just switch to the browser and refresh the page. Now you can see here 20 records. Okay, in one page. So in this way, you can use pagination in Laravel. So that's all about pagination. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.